What is up guys? So today we're gonna to do a short little video and I'm gonna show you a little secret on how to make your little torqueless four cylinder a little bit more peppy to help keep up with those V8s at the drift events. So for my low power boys out there, especially the 240 guys, we all know on the track, second gear is usually our go-to gear. Now when you start going on the bigger tracks, we start to run out of second and third just doesn't cut it. It's just too long, it doesn't work out. So with this trick, it's gonna allow us to be able to drift in the third so we can drift bigger tracks, go faster and have a better time. To begin this process, we're just gonna drop the rear diff. Well, fortunately enough, guys, my car is pretty apart, so the disc like a quarter way up, but it looks like these axle bolts are a little crusty. Oh, no. <laughs> RJ, the Northeast claimed another. <laughs> we got a stuck boy. It's oh. the same thing with everything. They all go out smooth except for the last uh, one. Steph, yeah. get me the penetrant. <laughs> Watch your eyes. Ah, hey. Free! Hey! We're free! That is the best feeling when the seize bolt finally breaks loose. Take that salt. Alright guys, as you can tell where this is going, this, this video is sponsored by 3in1. Now they sent me this stuff about a month and a half ago and told me just to try it out and see what I thought. Now as you could tell, this bottle is filthy and it's already like half empty. We've been using this thing constantly around the shop. This has been taking over all my other penetrates on my shelf and I've been loving it. This stuff is great, it's super clean. Instead of having out of a spray nozzle where it goes everywhere, we got a nice little dripper. Put it exactly where we want it. It really helps keep it all clean because it sucks when you get penetrating oil everywhere. And this stuff works so fast. A lot of penetrating oils you have to let sit for a couple hours, even overnight. This stuff works in a matter of minutes and it's been saving the day constantly. Because a lot of you guys know a seize bowl is like a mechanic's worst nightmare, or at least mine. So three in one. Make sure you go check them out, and thank you for sponsoring this video. I'm going out. A little foot positioning. <laughs> Jimmy the foot coming in spicy. Oh. There it comes. One beer dip, hold the lettuce. Wow. wow. All right, guys. So on the outside, these discs might look exactly the same, minus some paint <laughs> but internally they're pretty different what makes them different is they have different gear ratios the gear ratio is basically the number of spins your input shaft makes for one rotation of your output shafts basically your drive shaft comes in your axles and wheels spin out here by changing it up you could change the behavior of your car so with the new diff i have right here this has a much higher gear ratio than my existing diff so with this diff having a higher gear ratio that's going to basically shorten my transmission gear so we're going to be trading top speed for quickness essentially if you want to put it that way so now this should be able to allow me to drift in third gear without having really any issues the problem with the stock diff is it makes my gears too long my gears being too long with the four cylinder most of my top power is up top so if i shift into a higher gear and my rpms are low it's just not going to happen with this it'll put my rpms up higher in different gears at, at the same speed allowing me to have more power to drift in that gear that's a mouthful guys so the gear ratio is really simple it's how many times our input shaft spins to make our output shaft spin once around now i put the zip ties on it so we can basically get a good reference of how much we're spinning it and there we go this should do the trick so it's time to count got one two Three, three point nine. So it's it's between three point nine and four, which is kind of what we predicted. So it's good. Time to count the new one. We got one, two, three, four, point six. <laughs> so we got a four point six. As you guys could tell quite a bit bigger than the old diff, which means we have a higher gear ratio. That being, like I said, like three times a 4.6. Now this swap has been actually pretty popular for a while now. This gear, gearing in the inside is actually the internals of the front diff, diff of an Xterra, which is like actually really cool. You're able to take them out, wall it up, drop it in, and good to go. So with this, I have to give a huge shout out to Junkyard Dave from Road Bash TV. I'll put the link in the description. He actually, 
Fully put together this diff for Adam a, a few months ago. Got the internals, put them in, put all new steels in it and everything, all good to go. He handled everything. So I did no work, Adam did no work, made my life nice and easy. So Junkyard Dave, thank you so much for the hookup and this can be put to very, very good use. Guys, I know it's been really talky, but I'm really excited to show this. I've been really, really excited about this mod all season. Probably more than the whole upgrade I'm doing to my engine. This is going to bring down my gearing significantly, so now I can drift in third gear, which I wasn't able to do before, which made drifting at high speeds very difficult. So, that's about it. If you guys want some more pep through step, you don't mind losing some top end speed, get yourself a higher gear ratio diff. Different packages of your car will usually come with higher gear diffs. Just look it up. It's easy to find. A lot of automatic cars do come with higher gear diffs too, so you could always look into getting an automatic diff and going from there. That's about it. We're gonna throw this in, and I cannot wait to test it out for the season. In the video, of course, we're gonna wash our dirty hands, and the best thing for that is our lava soap we keep here at the shop. Now, they also are sponsoring this video, but we've been blowing through this soap like crazy because this stuff works insane. It smells pretty good too. For all you guys out there, you know, you're probably constantly getting yelled at by your significant other, your hands are filthy. And I know it's hard process to get the grime off, but the lava soap, of course, eats it right away. So we keep it stacked at the shop, always. All right guys, thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it was pretty talky, but at least I hope you guys learned something today. Huge shout out again to of course, lava soap. Get yourself nice and clean. Of course, huge shout out again to Junkyard Dave at Road Bash TV made my life so much easier and i really appreciate it bud make sure you go check out his channel of course link in the description but that's about it hope you guys like today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow like comment subscribe